Museum on the Partitian Musqueam. On the Partitian Musqueam. Ha ha. Musqueam. Tamo. Ha ha. Musqueam. Tamo. Hualmoch. Hualmoch. Musqueam. Tamo. My name is Titean. I come from Musqueam. Tamo means Mother Earth. Our word for who we are is we are human beings from Mother Earth. I'm the sound of thunder from Mother Earth. I want to say to you to all of the medical practitioners. Welcome here. Welcome here to this place, this sacredness. I welcome you here. Haichka, Haichka, for sharing with all of us your considerable strength and knowledge and your generosity. Haichka. My name is Dr. Patricia Daly. I'm the Chief Medical Health Officer and Vice President of Public Health for Vancouver Coastal Health. And in that role, uh, my primary goal is to improve the health of the populations we serve. And that's why it's, I'm very proud to have the Aboriginal Health Regional Team as part of my portfolio, as part of my team, because the work they do every day is to improve the health of Aboriginal people. When it comes to cultural competency and traditional practices, I think we're on a journey in Vancouver Coastal Health. We're at the beginning of that journey. But our goal through our, through our team, through partnerships with the community, is to be able to incorporate traditional practices in all of our facilities and in all of the programs uh, that we have available uh, within Vancouver Coastal Health. In my clinical work as an emergency doctor, I've been approached by some patients asking to have traditional practices to be incorporated into their care. Well, I believe that culturally safe care is a very important part of patient-centeredness. Sometimes it's very difficult for me to do that without an understanding or the information of what this entails. This is why I'm so excited to be working with the Vancouver Coastal Health Aboriginal Health Strategic Initiatives team as well as the traditional practitioners featured in this video to share the information about traditional practices and how they can and are already incorporated into care in British Columbia. I hope that this video will spark a conversation about what culturally safe care means and help all of us to take this journey together towards excellence in patient care through mutual understanding and collaborative action. Hello, my name is Jerry Olman, and I'm uh, of Statlium descent from a small place called Chilath, which means by the lake in our dialect. And I'm, I now live in Vancouver, been here since 1995. I've been working with, in the human service field since 1976. And um, in 1995, I had my first call to go to a hospital. A traditional practitioner is a, a person that comes in, uh, would come in, say, in the hospital in this case, to provide what I say is missing. Because uh, hospitals have excellent staff, highly trained staff, doctors and nurses, and equipment. And a traditional practitioner is a person that, you know, has been trained. And uh, the work that they do when they're working with an individual is the work of, they're trained, the healing work is either with your mind, your body, or your spirit. So the doctors and nurses are doing a lot of work with the body when the patient comes to the hospital. So the traditional practitioner would come in to help with the mind and the spirit. So the practitioner will also invariably work with the family that's at the hospital as well. 
you know, to help them because they recognize that they're there also to assist with the healing the family is. My name is Dr. Georgia Kaiba and I'm a naturopathic physician and I'm Northern Toshone from the Selkirk First Nation in the Yukon and I currently work for the First Nation Health Authority as a naturopathic advisor and I also see patients at uh, Squamish First Nation. That a traditional practitioner is somebody who um, takes a holistic perspective to health. Um, their knowledge is rooted in wisdom and uh, has been passed down from either family or from um, other people in the community. So it's this deep knowledge that has been around for thousands of years. It's about having access to healing, not just on the physical level, but on that spiritual, mental and emotional level as well. Um, it's about having a team approach to healing, so not just having it be um, a physician-heavy approach, but more of a patient-centered approach. Mm, my name is Ian Skawin, Abiniskim, and Gesu Gwilach. These were names that were given to me. Um, the first name was given by elders from the Blood Nation over in southwestern Alberta. And the, the, the Kwakwakwakwak name is, um, I was adopted up into Kinkum in, with the Muskamau Jawadena people. I believe that the Creator sent us here with many gifts and that it's our task in life to, to unpack this treasure that's within us. And so that's, that's how I see traditional practitioners. And I think the other thing is that it's something they just do. And other people call them something. They call them a medicine person or a healer or whatever. But I find most traditional practitioners don't really put it out there so much that they're that. But we're were called upon. So for instance, there wasn't an interview process for us to audition for this particular video. We were called and asked to participate. So it's a recognition from the people that that person is a practitioner in some way. Traditional practitioner will come in with many, they, they're trained in many ways of using medicines like herbs, um, music, words, um, their own energy to assist a patient. So the traditional practitioner, that's what they're trained to do. I believe most of us will be respectful, like, like I don't administer herbs for people to eat or to drink when I go to the hospital because I don't know what they're giving the person first off. And I know some medicines fight each other and can cause damage if you use them together. Well. My teacher um, taught me about the medicine wheel and the ceremony of the medicine wheel and many of the teachings of the medicine wheel. So I work with the medicine wheel in that way and I show people how to uh, work with the medicine wheel for themselves because I, I believe that the healing, you know, it's, it's the force of life and it comes through each one of us and it's not so much that I do something to someone but more that I help them clear away the blockages to the healing that's waiting for them there. Um, so there's the medicine wheel. I also take care of a chinampa or a sacred pipe as they say in English. I pour water in the purification lodge. I, um, I do energy work with with my hands and without touching. And I've, I also use uh, the vibration of sound and, and singing. I've been a registered nurse for um, over 25 years. My family is originally from Egg Lake, Alberta. I identify as Cree. My mother was a nurse. My Kukum grandmother was a nurse. I had a young man that was um, passing away from HIV and cancer. And because of the work that I've done um, on our Aboriginal Health Improvement Committee and through my liaising in the hospital, we were able to um, block one of the beds in his room. So um, we were able to have the whole family there. Um, they were able to sit and stay with him while he was passing on. We were able to turn off the overhead smoke 
detectors so that um, smudging could occur. Um, we were able to bring in other medicines to assist him uh, to go on to the next um, level. And in addition to that, um, the staff were able to be part of that. Mm -hmm. And um, when the smudge was lit and um, this young man started to relax, one of the palliative care physicians uh, turned to somebody in the room and said, there wasn't a drug or any intervention that I could have given that could have given this man the type of relief that he received. Mm -hmm. And um, there was almost this collective shift in energy that occurred in that room. The good people who are in the hospitals to help, they can help us at a physical level, and they do an excellent job. What they don't provide for us, the language groups, the Aboriginal language groups of British Columbia, is the spirit. I think including traditional healers and practitioners is important because we can partner together to improve the health of First Nations and Aboriginal people. It's not about uh, traditional medicine, Western medicine versus traditional healers. I think it is a partnership. And I think that's important because the, the Aboriginal view of health is a very holistic view. It's in many ways a, a broader view of health than uh, the uh, traditional Western view, which is often about illness and relieving illness. But it, it's important that it's a partnership that, that, um, that traditional healers can help our, our patients and clients uh, benefit from the, the medicines and care that we provide here and um, improve that, as well as addressing spiritual health, cultural health, and the health of the family. So it, it truly is a partnership, and I think it will allow us uh, to do a better job in addressing the underlying, underlying determinants of health in our First Nations communities. Uh, I think that it is an inherent right for First Nations to have access to the health care that they choose, which is culturally appropriate and culturally re relevant health care. There are um, many levels of, of, of racism that exist in large institutions, and they're um, contextually and historically um, situated in institutions. And, um, and often the fear is of, of not knowing what the appropriate or um, how to be welcoming. And so, you know, my, um, my philosophy on that is to um, be curious, um, to be humble, and to be welcoming. Um, because, um, and to be an ally. You know what I'd like to share with doctors and nurses? You know, what we're doing is not hocus pocus. You know, it's not voodoo. It's uh, basically energy work and some of it's faith-based, like, you know, just like they have Catholics or other Christians going to the hospital. You know, we're basically doing the same thing, but it's from our background and our teachings of how to help. We're all there to help. We're here to help. Thank you for answering the call to help people that are suffering. You know, and, and we want to help too. Mm -hmm.